Bismillah walhamdulillah in the name of Allah and all praise be to Allah those who cannot fast in the month of Ramadan Allah Almighty said in the chapter of Baqarah وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ فِدْيَةٌ طَعَامُ مِسْكِينَ for those who cannot fast during the month of Ramadan is ransom of a substitute feeding a poor person so the ulama scholars, may Allah be pleased with them, came with a beautiful conclusion from this ayah. They said that those who cannot fast during the month of Ramadan could be the old people. They are very old or they are very weak in their body. So their body and their health is not helping them to fast. So these are coming to this category that they cannot fast during the month of Ramadan. And what is the solution for them? is to feed for every single day of Ramadan a poor person. So if the Ramadan is 30 days, they have to feed 30 people or 30 poor people. And we will inshallah come to the uh, uh, way or how we can feed the 30 people and what is the meal of these people. Now also the ulama came with the conclusion or a benefit, a beautiful benefit from this ayah by saying that those who are sick they might be young, but they are sick. They have sickness for their lifetime. The doctors telling them that if you fast during the month of Ramadan, and a doctor should be a Muslim doctor who you trust, not any doctor. So he knows that you know it's good or not good for you. So if the doctor is saying that if you fast, it will harm your body, it will harm your you know uh, stomach, or it will harm your brain, or it will harm your you know internal system. So by that. A person should not fast. So what to do? Same thing for this person. He or she should feed a poor person for each day of Ramadan. And I'll give you an example of uh, Anas radiallahu anhu, a companion. He lived, mashallah, for more than 100 years. It says, you know, when he, comp when he crossed 100 years old, he couldn't fast. So what he used to do, the first day of Ramadan, he used to bring 30 poor people and he used to feed them one shot the first day of Ramadan or first few days of Ramadan. So the ulama said you can feed 30 people either in the beginning of the day or the first week of Ramadan or the middle of Ramadan or the end of Ramadan. One shot, 30 people, that's fine. If you want to feed one by one every day, that's also fine. If you want to you know, feed 15 people at the beginning and the 15 people at the end or in the middle, that's fine. The whole idea is that you have to feed for each day of Ramadan a poor person. How you will do it, it's up to you. So, this is regarding the poor people. The meal should be a proper filling meal. You cannot just give a small piece of bread and you will give to a poor people that this is your meal. No, the ulama said it should be a proper filling meal. That if a person eats it, he will feel that he is full now. Alhamdulillah. So, you cannot just give a small piece of bread with a water or juice and you say this is your meal. No, the meal should be a proper meal that you can buy the whole meal and give it to the poor person. So I ask Allah Almighty to bless us and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Almighty to give us the strength and to give us the health so we can fast the month of Ramadan and get closer to Allah Almighty and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds.